welcome back to wig series welcome back to wig series so today this video is going to be about how i pluck my um lace frontals and of course if you watch my other video on the affordable curly wig then you already know this hair is from elba hair wigs and this is just everything that comes in the box um, it came. It comes with a filer, some mac lashes. I think it came with a comb and um, just a lot of good stuff. Also, an elastic band. I thought that was really nice to add an elastic band in the package. But this is what it looks like fresh out of the box. This was my first time like opening it, opening the wig, and this is just the inside of the wig and it has about i think it has three combs this is a 360 wig so that means that it goes all around your whole head if you don't know what 360 means so this is what it looks like before i pluck it or do anything to it the curls look really cute like even though i haven't washed it yet of course i'm gonna have to like co-wash it but it's they still look really pretty just fresh out of the box so somehow some way the footage of me bleaching the knot got lost in the sauce I do not know how but I'm sorry that that part is missing I did bleach the knot on this frontal there are a lot of videos on how to bleach the knot bleaching the knot are um, it's really easy so you can just do make sure you bleach the knots do not forget that i will upload a video on how to bleach knots and i'm sorry that it was not in this video but this is how it looks before i pluck anything or anything like that i got some tweezers and i part the hair first as you can see like section off and i kind of tweeze that front part first and i tweeze it downward so I can actually see because these are going to be the baby hairs and it's just going to be at the front of the frontal even if you don't want baby hairs it's at the front of the frontal so you want this to look very gradient and very like not so precise you're trying to get rid of that uniform look to make it mimic a real hairline so I'm just Taking my tweezers and tweezing and make sure you like brush it out or comb it out after you tweeze, just take turns. And I just keep going, no specific order, no like just all over just tweezing. And I'm just doing that on the hairline just to thin it out because you don't want it to look too thick because your hair at the top of your head is thinner than the rest of your head so you want to thin out that hairline so it doesn't look so wiggy you want it to look very natural but you also do not want to over pluck like over plucking let me tell you something that nobody i never knew until i actually got a wig is that frontals bald over time so if you over pluck when you first get the wig then your frontal is going to start balding sooner because you've plucked so much so pluck good enough but you don't want to over pluck i mean over pluck can look really nice but it's not going to last you very long if you plan to wear this wig you know for a long time or any wig for a long time then i wouldn't suggest over plucking as soon as you get it because eventually it's gonna thin out on its own and the frontals start to bald like i never heard any of that in any of the youtube videos that i have watched about frontals balding until i actually got a frontal so i know because from experience i actually oh i actually should insert like a picture or a video of like one of my first, like I think this is like my second frontal of how bald it, it was <laughs> but I have made that wig so but anyways I just continue to go along the hairline and it's really the same steps honestly you just make it I just part as I go 
like towards the front of the hairline make sure you brush it back or comb it back and then I just go in and just like random I just pluck randomly not in a line or not you know not too uniform just all over the place and just thinning it out you're just wanting to thin it out and give your hairline a gradient effect and if you just watch because watching is just a lot more for me because I'm a visual learner I'm just really doing the same thing you know just part the hair plug part the hair plug the sides are also going to be thicker on your wig so the side of your wig will be thicker so when you are plucking the sides of your wig make sure you kind of pluck that a little bit more than the, than the front or the line of your hair because the sides are always thicker so this is what it looks like after i have plucked the hair on one side then i'm going to go back and do the other side and it's really going to be the same steps parting plucking parting plucking as i go thinning out that hairline make sure you continue to brush the hair so you can see and i like to do this on wet hair because i feel like i can really see the scalp if it's dry it's like you don't really get a good like vision of how it really looks so um, how the hairline really looks so i make sure that i wet the hair as i go because it does start to get dry when you are plucking it so i just make sure i wet it so i can see it brush it out comb it out to make sure i can see it and then i'm just thinning it out parting it and thinning it out and just make sure that you like brushing it out as you go will help you see the progress you know that you've made and then you can see you know do i need to pluck a little bit more or is it looking better like it's coming together so that's why i continue to brush the hair so i can really see how it's coming along because you don't want like i said you don't want to over pluck you want to pluck it just right so i just continue to do that and yeah. also if you like this beat that is playing in my background i finally got some good beats for my background music if you have a youtube channel then you already know that it is so hard to find good background music considering like copyright issues and things like that so if you need a fire ass beat for your youtube channel or you make music or you know somebody that needs beats or make music follow my friend on instagram and he is a dj and he makes beats so this is where i got this beat from so now my music on my channel is gonna be popping and it's gonna be way better than the same old music that i had before so hit him up i'm gonna put his instagram name down here so he is famous so i don't know how much he's gonna charge y'all but just tell him that i sent y'all so i'm just kidding so y'all go hit him up it is i don't let me see i don't i'm gonna put the his instagram Instagram is ghost town so yeah go follow him and go get y'all some beats and tell a friend uh, support black businesses look how bomb this frontal looks so this is after I plucked it it looks so bomb it looks so good like wow this is just the final look after plucking it so i feel like i did really good with this frontal and also it's pre-plucked that's another thing about this frontal it's pre-plucked this is how much hair i plucked out i don't really have to pluck out that much because it is a pre-plucked frontal so honestly if you are scared to plug or you don't really know you could probably get away with half you you could probably get away with not plucking it at all if you're scared to plug but i'm just you know extra and 
I know how to pluck and I know, you know, how to do a frontal. So I pluck more because I like my frontals to be very customized. And I'm just putting mousse on the hair um, just to set it in place. And then I am going to do baby hairs, but I'm not going to show that on camera. If y'all want a baby hair tutorial for frontals, let me know in the comments. Look at that wig. Like, wow. Have you ever seen some hair? Look at those curls. Have you ever seen, like, you do your hair and then you're like, wow, like, I did that. Like, things that I did, that. Like, this is just... This wig was so, it's so cute. And I'm just cutting off the lace. The key to cutting off lace is to not cut in a straight line. You have to cut zigzags and not in a straight line. Because if you cut it in a straight line, you're going to be able to see the lace. So what I do is I cut in a zigzag line. Like, not not a straight line. And I normally cut without baby hairs already set in place. But... I, re I see people who cut with the baby hairs. I just wanted to try it out. And plus, this night I was going somewhere. So, I was really in a rush. <laughs> and I, I just did my baby hairs on the mannequin. Cause to, to the but then I go back and I. But you just gotta make sure. You can do it either way. It works either way. But just make sure that you cut off enough lace but don't cut off the baby hair just be very careful when going around your baby hairs and cut off the lace and I cut off all of the lace because this is a 360 wig so yeah you don't have to pluck this if you don't if you don't feel comfortable or not as much as I did because it is pre-plug and they did a the company over there wigs did a really good job at the pre-plug I feel like it looked really great so just really take your time when you're cutting the lace because cutting the lace is also a very 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 important part of your frontal because if your lace is jacked then the wig is like a no like you have to like trash it so cutting the lace be very careful not to not to mess it up because you need the lace like you can always go back and cut off more but once you cut off too much it's like hey. you don't want to cut off any of the hair either this was really it. This is what it looks like. And I love this wig. I hope that you guys have learned how I look. And I hope you found it easy because it's really not as hard. You know, you just have to follow your steps and, you know, just make make sure you just check your work so don't be afraid i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys are just excited about wig series as i am because it ain't no excuse for your wig to be looking crazy if you watched my video and my braids before i forgot to point out my meek meal braids excuse my little meek meal braids but shout out to miss pam though miss pam really picked me up like look at the part my hair looks good Okay, so she really hooked me up with my little meat meal braids for this wig to be laid. Okay, so make sure you subscribe if you like this video and if you want more hair videos, give this video a thumbs up. This wig looks so bomb. Like, wow, look at the curls. Wow, like, so gorgeous. But subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and I thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure you watch my other video about how I put the wig on if you have not already seen it, and I hope you love this video, and you love wig series, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video, bye!